I'm living my best life. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my best life. Made a couple M's with my best friend. Turned all of my L's in the lessons. Yeah, you see the wig pulling up his life. Hey, YouTube, it's WR Green. And welcome back to my channel. Um, so, of course, you guys read the title. The reason why I moved to Texas is because. One, I feel like I've always wanted to live here. It was either between here or Arizona. Um, and I said that I was going to apply to a job here. And if I got accepted for the job, I was going to move. The reason why I no longer wanted to be in Tennessee was because I felt like I was kind of tired of doing the same thing all the time and i just felt like why can't i do the same thing consistently if if that was my life why can i do it someplace that i wanted to live so i just got up and i left like i got accepted to the job and i just decided to pack my whole apartment up and i left like that was it I just feel like this was meant for me. So I'm in Texas. Um, the job that I was working in Tennessee was working for the Department of Children's Services. As a case manager, I investigated child abuse and neglect. And I also cleaned a bank for two hours, Monday through Friday. Every day after that job, I cleaned the bank. In the next couple of clips, I do have a video of my old apartment and that's what you'll see and then after that i have some clips here and there of me um driving to texas sad story i didn't get no footage of it um i ended up having to get a new phone because i moved when i moved here because who my phone it, it was completely destroyed i dropped it and that it was done um but while I was pulling into a gas station, so I had a U-Haul, like the smallest U-Haul, and then I had a trailer on the back, so it was pulling my car, which you guys will see a picture of at the end of the video. <laughs> and I, um, I was pulling into a gas station, and I ran into the pole of the gas station. Like, it was a pole when you first pull in, you never probably really pay attention to it, them little poles in the gas station. And the trailer, a part of the trailer hit the um, hit the pole and it broke, it bent the pole and it made the pole like um, scrape onto the tire. <laughs> I know I'm terrible. So we had to wait, me, my friend had drove with me. We had to wait for about an hour to an hour and a half until they came out and fixed it. So that was terrible and yeah i just i don't know i just had to run into the pole i don't know i just can't it's just me i just can't drive a straight shot like it's really me um but besides that it was a pretty smooth it was a nine and a half well, nine and a half hour drive that turned into about 11 12 hour drive um because we left at um my original plan was to leave at 8, but I don't think we left until like 10 a.m. And we didn't make it until like 11, I think, 11.31. Um, because when we got there, of course, the store, because I put all my stuff in storage. When we got there, I, um, I took the U-Haul truck to where the storage, I parked it to where the storage was at. And then I stayed stayed two nights over a friend house um, until I could move in with my aunt on the first. And I stayed with my aunt for about three weeks, I think. And then that's when I moved here. So, yeah, that's, like I said, only, only I can turn a nine and a half hour drive to like a 12 hour drive like it, it's just me gotta be i don't know <laughs> but um thanks for watching i'm gonna continue to post as consistently as i can and i'm just gonna live my life to the fullest in dallas thank you bye
This apartment is back empty. Back empty. Get everything out. Who y'all pray for me with my car on the back? Pray for me. Living my best life.